Look, being an old man until we solved this drug problems was never the intention of this video. It just, uh, kind of happened. He's going for the joint. Don't let him smoke the joint. You're not allowed to smoke. Ah. Uh. Anyway, that doesn't matter, as today we return to everyone's favorite game of drug diplomacy. The game where you give out free samples of drugs and then suddenly everyone wants to give you hand jobs for crack. It's, uh, it's a fantastic gig. For someone like me that doesn't have too many friends, you have to find, let's say, uh, unorthodox ways of fostering friendships. And uh, our method today of fostering these incredibly healthy friendships, funneling shitloads of flake to our neighbors. If the developers of RimWorld didn't want me selling drugs, they wouldn't make it so goddamn profitable. This, this colony is barely functional. <laughs> Barely functional at best. We, we, we have two people that can barely function without having any drugs. I mean, they can't even function. Red Octopus is down and out again because he needs more goddamn drugs. Oh, what is wrong with you, man? Come on. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Same with same with Ara down here. She needs uh needs a she needs a joint. Obviously, the uh, first part of uh, drug production is uh, is actually growing the drugs. That's that's quite important. That part. So we're gonna set that up straight away. Get uh, get some get some fields going of uh, everyone's favorite psychoid. So I've decided since I'm going full drug cartel, the only right thing to do would be to make a lot of AK-47s. Um, I don't know if I can make a gold AK, but we're just going to go with normal ones to start with. The good news though, the slave is currently planting all our drug fields for us. So we are we're, we're pretty much doing the full role play as a drug cartel right now. Ah uh, yes, for those that didn't watch the live episode, we did a, we, we did a few memes. Uh, we had uh, two men fighting each other here with sharp objects. That was pretty hot. Uh, uh, is Bat going to finish it now? Bat is stabbed. Yeah, it looks like it's over for Snake. Snake is Snake's, it's pretty much done. Snake's out of this one. Snake is down. Uh, then we also we, we also executed a prisoner, I think. And that that that's pretty much it. Look how goddamn happy everyone is here. I, I, I just think the idea of everyone being high constantly is a fantastic idea. People might, you know, have a few drug-related issues, but people are generally really happy. And I think passing on this happiness to our neighbors is a fantastic idea. Like, look here. We can make peace with our neighbors by sending them lots of drugs and giving them crippling drug addictions so then they have to depend on us like all good friendships. Right, that will do nicely. Uh, that's that's gonna definitely increase our flake production by quite a bit there. The problem I've got right now is all these stupid rats that I released are coming over and eating my drug plants. And I can't really just shoot them all because I'm gonna have a very unhappy colony if I do that. So I'm going to build a very productive fence here to uh, keep them all out. Worst comes to worst, I might have to click clack a couple of them, but I nah, don't worry about it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Stop setting things on fire. All right, we've done a little bit of base expansion. We've got a nice little dining area now. I'm building a little armory here so that the slaves, I, I don't know, they still have access to it, but don't worry about it. It's a little master plan. Right, that's the transport pod research, which I need to uh, launch drugs at people. Now we just need to make the drugs. That's the uh, that's the only stage we need to do now is uh, making them drugs and then we can launch them around to our neighbors and then everyone's going to be really happy with us. Except from these Federation scum. We're getting a nice little lab here. We'll uh, move the drug table there. We'll have some storage for the leaves. It's going to be fantastic. That's all you need to know. I don't know what this is, but I'm very nervous. I'm going to guess this is my ancient danger here. That's going to be left for a little bit later on. I don't really want to open that right now. Uh, I, I feel like if I open that, I'm going to have a real, real, real bad time. So that's, uh, that's going to be a no from me. Maybe once we get all our AKs made up, we can go for it. Which means we probably should make some ammunition for it. So, uh, no, 7.62 X39, isn't it? Look at me. I know all my bullets. I'm an escape from Tarkov player. I know. Right. I have had enough of you, for God's sake. Red Octopus has fallen over non-stop. And I am actually fed up of picking him up and having to administer smoke leaf every goddamn time he falls over. So, new rule. Goddamn Autobong is getting switched off. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this goddamn stupidly inefficient bunch of morons. And uh, basically, Red Octopus is going to lie in bed until his addiction's over. No more drugs for that old man. I'm taking your fat old ass to rehab. I've had enough of it. Jesus Christ. No. No. Beat him up. Beat him up. He's not allowed to leave. Beat him up. All right. Go back to bed. You are staying in that goddamn bed until you get over your addiction. I've had it up the fucking ear with your shit. Oh, no, you're not. He's going for the joint. 
Don't let him smoke the joint. You're not allowed to smoke. Get down, you little shit. There we go. We will beat this addiction together by beating you. All right? It's the only way. I'm sorry, but it has to be like this. I'm not a bad person. I'm just doing it for you. Oh, you son of a bitch. No. You're not allowed. At this point, it probably would have been easier just to take his legs, but we're committed to just beating him up every time he tries to uh, tries to do something. Also, you're not using medicine on him. They're only bruises. We will waste so much medicine doing that. You know what? Maybe we need to punch him like a few more times. If we punch him a few more times, he'll be down for longer, right? It's everyone's favorite day. It's harvest day. It's time to kickstart the drug production now. Uh, well, it also means we should probably build some of these pod launchers so we can actually start launching drugs at people. Uh, we, we, we've still got 14 components, which is good. Um, I have turned all, nearly all of our components into AKs. In hindsight, probably wasn't the best of ideas because I haven't actually been raided yet. Once we've whipped that all up into uh, Flake... We can launch it at our neighbors, get them all addicted, and then we're going to be fine. They're all going to be addicted to our drugs, so they have to be my friend. Not many people want to talk to me normally, so I've got to resort to extreme measures. There you go. We got R and the one with brain damage making our drugs. What could possibly go wrong here? Oh, you son of a bitch. He must have snuck out at some point and smoked the joint. Get, get over there and hit him with an AK a few times. Don't let him get out of bed again. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you, man? I'm trying to help you. I know it's a little unorthodox what I'm doing, but I'm trying to goddamn help you, and this is what you do. You sneak out and smoke drugs behind my back. I'll tell you what, if I can't find any raiders to fight, we're going to go shoot some animals instead. Test out our AKs. Now, I think it's safe to say the AKs work quite well. Sorry, Mr. Megasloth, but uh, I need food. You're made of food. That's pretty much it. It's like an unfair business deal. Where I get to eat you at the end of it. Right, I think it's time to launch our first drug care package to our neighbors. Uh, we have 241 flake. So we'll get that loaded up. And then I guess... Uh, well, the contents will be lost there. Contents will be lost there. They'll take the gift. And it will be lost there. Well, I guess we'll go down south and give it... We'll, we'll give it to the city down here. We we'll start infesting the cities with drugs. Right, look at that. Red Octopus is on 14% withdrawal. We're, we're, we're starting to get somewhere with him. Um... He doesn't like he's going to get up again soon, so can we just get someone over there? Uh, Mr. Slave, do you want to just get over and punch Red Octopus a few times? Sorry about it, buddy, but I, I really don't want you walking away and, you know, sneaking off. I don't know if I'm a bad person. I, I think I am the bad person here. I'm beating up an 85-year-old man so he can't take drugs. Uh, we appear to have a slave rebellion here, but all he's doing is punching my solar panels. This is quite a weird... Rebellion, if I do say so myself. Let's just get some boys over there to go. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, no, he's, he's coming towards us. Don't shoot him because you'll kill him. Just, like, punch him a few times. Get over there and start punching Cheetah. Come on, he can't be that hard to beat up. He's just he's just a little slave. There we go. Now, that ended that slave rebellion quite quickly. I love how the other two didn't because Lobster was on a mental break. And this guy just... Loves being strapped up, I think. I think that's uh, his little kink there. Right, anyway, I need to fire off these drugs. There's 241 here, so we're going to go launch down to the city down here. And that will make them my ally. Drug diplomacy, baby. Now that they're all addicted to my drugs, they will, they will worship me. They will do anything I say now. I love how this stupid woman just OD'd on Flake and everyone's just come to pick up all of her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than picking her up, <laughs> do they want to actually rescue her? Oh, why not? Let's do uh, let's let's do another leader speech. These always go really well. I'm not sure why she's like bending stomp over whilst he's giving the speech, but don't worry about it. Maybe that's what it's about. Encouraging leader speech. Cool. All right. Well, that worked, I guess. I'm not, I'm not sure what that speech was about, but they all seem to enjoy it. Ah, yes. It's time to harvest all of the drugs. It's time to produce all of the flake. All right, Cheetah. I have entrusted you with an axe to help you harvest plants quicker. If you betray me and go on a slave rebellion, I'm taking you to the chopping board. Well, it says slave rebellion likely now. Do you even think about it, buddy? I just realized something. Black isn't the part of the rat pack. Get over there and convert him. Oh, well, that was... That was pathetic. What do you do? Just walk up there and like 
tuckle on his toes a little bit. Not a very convincing argument to get someone to join your ideology. So a little bit of good news here. Uh, we have officially made our AGS-30. Uh, we just don't have the resources to make any high explosive grenades. Don't worry, we're doing the pro gamer move and taming some boom rats. Right, here we are. 200 flake for 85 opinion. Uh... Oh, they, they, they didn't become my ally. Okay, that's not the end of the world because I'm about to go over there and send them a lot of drugs anyway. I, I shouldn't have let those muffalo run amok. Apparently, I can't just stuff all these rats up with crack. That's uh, apparently not an option. Oh my god. I've, I've run out of smoke leaf. Oh lord. This is not good. I've got a few leaves. I just realized everyone's so upset because... You know what? Screw it. They can be upset. They can stay upset. They are getting over all of their massive smoke leaf addictions i've had enough of them I tried to beat the last one out of red octopus but that didn't work we were just going cold turkey on it it's probably the best time to do it as well because they've all got that plus 20 boost from attended weddings so we should be good oh god damn it the awoken fair that's the one where they want to eat human flesh we haven't had a raid in god knows how long now i don't think we can appease the desire for flesh as we've had no raids we have got this tribal village over here we could go pay a uh, little little visit to shall we say then again i'm not really sure like how efficient my fighting force will be considering they're all suffering from massive smoke leaf withdrawal i don't think this is going to be the most efficient team but uh maybe we, we got to do something right so i came up with this fantastic idea Instead of everyone smoking smoke leaf and being lazy, inefficient pieces of shit on society, I've got everyone snorting and overdosing on yayo. I like to say that's a problem solved. We solved one problem. Everyone's slowly getting over their addiction to smoke leaf by becoming yayo addicts. There also seems to be a lot of fights happening now that everyone's suffering from crippling withdrawal. Uh, don't worry about it. It's just part of the process. Probably not a terrible idea is to research psychite tea, because that's not actually like that addictive, that powerful. You know, it will, it, will, it will solve a few cravings of people's high life, I think. Ah, finally, some donkeys have walked into our land. Now, let's go out and tame all of them, because then we can use them to transport our drugs. Right, it's time to make some psych IT so people stop smoking crack. I think it's a good alternative. Right, everyone who's got high life missing, go and have a cup of tea. Even you lobster, go and drink the tea. There we go. Look how happy everyone is now. They've had a cup of tea. They've calmed down. Lobster, don't worry about the rats, my dude. Go out and tame me some donkeys. What do you mean no usable food? The person with one animal's is... The person with one animal skill just tamed a goddamn donkey? Uh, Lobster, do you want to get over there and do the rest? Now, if this donkey already consumes 0.26 and the nutrition growth is only 0.37, you might have a few starving donkeys, but don't worry about it. We've got lots of flake, which we can sell. We're not going to give the donkey flake. That would be a waste of good flake. This is it. This is what we've been working towards all game. The first caravan. After this, we officially become somebody. No more ratting around and achieving nothing with our lives. Yeah, as you can tell by that shitty speech I just gave, it, uh, <laughs> it doesn't happen at all. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Off to sell drugs we go. Perfect. Let's uh, let's send this, this trade. They only have 1,600 silver. At this point, I realized two things. One, trading with tribal villages suck. Like, what's this crap? Wooden wall mask? Trash. Wolf skin? Throw it in the bin. Milk? Uh, actually, to be fair, I did buy the milk. And they did have some FSX and Prometheans, so... Uh. Secondly, I wasn't running better traders. Which is a must-have unless you like performing CBT while trading. Because the only sucker is you, who's walked two days to this fucking village just for them to turn around and be like, I'll trade you four berries for your flake. We like revenge. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Oh, the poor slave. Oh, I'm sure it'll be right. He'll probably just get knocked down with a bunch of bruises. Ah, look at that. He's fine. Uh, that doesn't mean we're going to have a horde of boom light coming at us. So, uh, we actually get to shoot something this episode. Die! Yes! That felt good. Oh, Ara, what are you doing? Why? Oh, for God's sake. He's going for lobster's goddamn smoke leaf joint he's been hoarding. And, uh, in the mix of it is walking into all the boom lights. She's an idiot. Problem is, I don't exactly want to just start shooting boom loaf around her. Because she's going to have a real bad time. Maybe I can knock them down like that. Yeah, that didn't work. Whatever. Perfect. Some say I am uh, I, I, I'm a genius. Some some do say that. Oh, god damn. I just realized Castu's burning all my goddamn drug fields. What the fuck, man? Why are you doing that? Oh, there's fires everywhere. The boomalopes are burning. 
Ara's going for the drugs and Stomp's trying to chase it down. But I don't think he's going to get there in time. <laughs> don't let her touch the drugs. No. Oh, and Red Octopus just gave up, apparently. Just gave up because of the smoke leaf withdrawal. Uh, do you want to go calm down? You thought you could leave. But now you're stuck with all the milk. Now, we might not have made that much money today. But at least we made two friends. And there's nothing more important than friendship. Just like the friendship I have with my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for the support.